Now, imagine a universe just like Flatland, truly two-dimensional, and entirely flat in every direction, but with one exception. Unbeknownst to the inhabitants, their two-dimensional universe is curved into a third physical dimension, maybe into a sphere, but at any rate, into something entirely outside their experience. Locally, their universe still looks flat enough, but if one of them, much smaller and flatter than me, takes a very long walk along what seems to be a straight line, he would uncover a great mystery. Suppose he marked his starting point here and set off to explore his universe. He never turns around and he never reaches an edge. He doesn't know that his apparently flat universe is actually curved into an enormous sphere. He doesn't sense that he's walking around a globe. Why should his space be curved? Because there's so much matter in this universe that it gravitationally warps space, closing it back on itself into a sphere. But our flatlander doesn't know this. After a long while, you'll find he somehow returns to his starting point. There must be a third dimension. Our flatlander couldn't imagine a third dimension, but he could sure deduce it. Now, increase all the dimensions in this story by one, and you have something like the situation which many cosmologists think may actually apply to us. We are three-dimensional creatures trapped in three dimensions. We imagine our universe to be flat in three dimensions, but maybe it's curved into a fourth we can talk about a fourth physical dimension, but we can't experience it. No one can point to the fourth dimension. I mean, there's left, right, and there's forward, back, there's up, down, and uh, there's uh, some other direction simultaneously at right angles to those familiar three dimensions. Now, imagine this universe is expanding. If we blow it up like a four dimensional balloon, what happens? An astronomer in a given galaxy thinks all the other galaxies are running away from him. The more distant the galaxy, the faster it seems to be moving. This is just what Hummison and Hubble found. On the surface of this curved universe, there is no boundary or center. The universe can be both finite and unbounded. 